What's up you guys, it's Steve here and we have got a lot to get caught up on. This is your stimulus check update and stimulus package update as we're hearing it's all coming back. That's right, calls for stimulus checks, unemployment extensions, all the provisions we had seen before in another stimulus package after the Build Back Better bill passes. That is right, there are calls for that. They're saying bring them back and this is because we're seeing another wave of the pandemic coming on the horizon due to the spread of this incredibly transmissible Omicron variant. Now, I've got a ton of video footage and article headlines I'm going to be sharing with you in today's video, and I want to spread a little bit of Christmas cheer for you guys amongst everything going on, so stick around towards the end. I'm going to have a special guest appearance for the Ram Fam, a little Christmas holiday guest appearance for you guys. So don't miss that. Stick around towards the end, but let's go ahead and dive right in and get you caught up on the latest of calls for all these new things to come back as we're still in the middle of this pandemic battle. So you guys, let's go ahead and dive right in. But first, just wanted to also say thank you for all the support on that second channel, Steve Ram Finance. And if you're somebody that's interested in growing wealth, learning about personal finance, maybe you're starting over and you wanna launch a business, invest in real estate, stocks, cryptos, well, this is gonna be the channel for you. I think it's gonna help out a lot of people. I'm really excited about it. I'll pin a comment down below, click the link, go subscribe, turn on notifications. Gonna be launching video content closer towards the end of the year. Really excited about that, you guys. But right now, let's go ahead and dive right in on economic news and what's happening with the pandemic. And let's start off by smashing that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Just takes a second, really helps me out a ton. Thank you so much. Leave your comments, share this out. If this is your first time here and you wanna stay up to date, don't forget, hit the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. I'll keep you up to speed on everything going on. And if you got any specific questions for me, I'm easy to get a hold of directly. All you gotta do is shoot me a DM on Instagram at steveram3. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and dive right in and get you caught up on everything that we're hearing could be coming back soon. All right, so for those of you that follow me here on the channel, you already saw in a previous video that we have had calls coming out from Congress to pass another stimulus package. Now, we had heard about this before from President Joe Biden and Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi back in October when they heard that they were cutting down the Build Back Better bill. They told members of Congress, look, don't worry, just in the spirit of compromise and to get some sort of financial aid out, pass through whatever we can, and then we will have another stimulus package coming in 2022, and whatever doesn't make it in this one, we're gonna pass it in the next one. Now, we had heard that before, and now we're hearing members of Congress calling to get this done, and they're also saying, hey, we're still in the middle of this pandemic, and we need to get more provisions, more financial aid, maybe more stimulus checks, unemployment extensions, all the things that we had before, we need to get it out again. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, as right now, they're working away on the Build Back Better bill, and they can't seem to get that one taken care of. And there's a lot of concerns about the provisions included, adding more to the nation's debt and inflation. And right now, take a look, Jamal Bowman, the major person in Congress that is pushing to have this next stimulus package, says that he is outraged right now that the Build Back Better bill is being delayed until 2022, which is going to mean that those child tax credits that people are getting those monthly advanced payments on, December 15th will be the last day. There will likely not be a January check unless they get something done here right away, but you will get a lump sum when you file your taxes. So the hope was to continue it on seamlessly, but since the Build Back Better bill is not gonna be passing till next year, it looks like there will be a gap if they include that provision in it. Now, right now, we're hearing that they're saying they believe this is justified, that we need to have another stimulus package, and here's why. The Omicron variant we're hearing is 70 times more transmissible than any other variant we have seen before. And take a look at this, you guys, just coming out. The states of California and New York have reinstated indoor mask mandates amid the Omicron concerns. But that's not all. We're hearing there are a lot of calls for modifications on mandates due to what's happening with this variant. Now, I've got some video footage I'm gonna be sharing with you that's gonna be covering this in a little bit more detail, but take a look at this, you guys, really quick. The UK's Omicron warning for America, and we're hearing this is huge because typically what we've seen with this pandemic is that whatever happens in Europe, it usually, we see the same thing just a month or two later in the United States. And you can see the way that the charts are moving. And take a look, you guys, Omicron spreading at lightning speed, according to the French Prime Minister. And here are the charts 
For the US, take a look, you can see that we are out on the incline. New cases yesterday, 170,000 alone yesterday, and the seven day moving average is at 124,000 new cases per day. And we heard that New York, the state, just hit a record high. We have not seen them with this many cases since the pandemic started. So there is a lot of concern about what's unfolding. And right now, let's take a look at some more video footage on this. The situations playing out in parts of our country right now are both jarring and familiar. COVID is spreading fast and hospitalizations are rising. The virus once again disrupting everything from live performances to restaurants to schools and sports. The NFL announced today it's postponing three games this weekend as the league deals with an outbreak among players. Similar story in college hoops. Two of the top ranked teams in the nation, Duke and UCLA, both scrapping games from their schedule. In New York City, another popular tourist attraction canceled. Just last hour, Radio City announced the Rockettes nixed all of their shows for the remainder of the season. The new wave of infections also taking a toll on restaurants and bars in the big city. At least a dozen temporarily closed this week. Today, the New York governor, Kathy Hochul, said New York State recorded its highest number of cases since the pandemic began. Close to 21,000, and the majority of them still the Delta variant. But the CDC director warns Omicron will become the most dominant strain in the U.S. in a matter of weeks. Dr. Rochelle Walensky says it reinforces the need for more Americans to get vaccinated and boosted. We've seen cases of Omicron among those who are both vaccinated and boosted. And we believe these cases are milder or asymptomatic because of vaccine protection. Meantime, the White House just announced a new plan to keep kids in classrooms. The strategy allows children to stay in school even if they've been exposed to COVID. Here's NBC's Heidi Prisbala on our top story tonight. The White House is concerned about major disruptions at hospitals and schools due to Omicron, and they outlined a plan to prevent what we saw last year, which is most children learning virtually. We now have new data and updated CDC guidance showing the effectiveness of an approach called test to stay, which involves frequent rapid testing of students at least two times per week and robust contact tracing. The idea is that with frequent testing, even kids who may have been exposed do not need to quarantine as long as they test negative. The second part is a partnership with teachers unions to get as many teachers boosted as possible. Omicron is already prompting some school closures, though, and this is before it truly crashes ashore here. One of the new CDC studies that the CDC director cited is based on 90 schools in Lake County, Illinois, and it estimated that test to stay prevented more than 8,000 missed school days. But some schools are already closing with a rise in COVID positivity. I've also interviewed school officials about test to stay, and it basically requires a lot of manpower, requiring a lot of supplies and staffing that these schools just don't have. Yet they are especially vulnerable given their vaccination rates. Just 18% of kids age 5 to 11 have had at least one shot. That's 61% of those aged 12 to 17 who've had a single dose. So there you have it, you guys. Some of the precautionary measures being taken right now to avoid the spread of this Omicron variant and the tests to stay happening in schools taking place at this time. Now, you guys, we will see what unfolds. I will keep you up to date, but we're hearing that the Build Back Better bill is being delayed, and we will see if more stimulus reconciliation bills will be passed and be needed with more provisions to help out people at this time. And take a look at this, you guys. Mitch McConnell is saying that delaying Biden's agenda right now, including the expanded child tax credit, is the best Christmas gift that Washington could give working families. As he's saying, listen, we need to stop the provisions because it's adding to the debt. It's causing record high inflation. We haven't had this high in the last 40 years. The best thing we can do for the American people is stop all of the debt and inflation. Let me know your thoughts, you guys. But that is the latest that has been unfolding. And it looks like there's a whole lot happening recently due to what's unfolding with the pandemic. Now, as more information comes out, as you guys know, I will keep you up to date here on the channel. And stick around, we've got a special guest appearance for you. Uh, take a look. All right, guys, so we've got our first guest appearance and let everybody know your name. Liam. Liam. Now, Liam, let everybody know what it is that you'd like for Christmas. I like, um, I like a Mickey Mouse a car with Mickey Mouse inside of it, and he races around the room when I click the button. 
Wow, oh man, that's specific. Okay, so you want a Mickey Mouse car that races? Yeah. Do you want anything else? Um, yes. What? It's like uh, a dragon toy. A dragon toy too? Mm hmm Anything else? Um, uh, I know. What else? I know. You, you don't have to if you're done, if that's all you want. I'm not done. I'm, <laughs> I want, I want a, I want a race car. A race car? Uh-huh. Wow. And I want uh, another baby sister for Christmas. Another baby sister for Christmas. Okay, well, we will work on the toys and stuff, okay? That, that, All that, right. That's, um, that's the end. Okay, that's the end. Okay, cool. All right, well, we've got a couple more days till Christmas, so we'll get ready. And tell everybody, tell everybody hi and tell them Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, everybody, and we have our second guest appearance, and let everybody know your name. Naya. Naya. All right, Naya, let everybody know what you would like for Christmas. I would like a, a cradle for my baby doll and a, a high chair and a stroller and a baby doll car seat. And I would also like a baby swing, which I hadn't thought of that yet. Oh, okay. Adding to the list. That's awesome. So anything else or is that it? Uh, I also want a Barbie. Uh, I also want a Barbie couch. I got a Barbie couch and a shelf and a dining table and bedding. Wow. Okay, so a lot of Barbie stuff and baby doll stuff, huh? Yeah, because she's new. Okay, awesome. Cool. Well, thank you for sharing and let everybody know that you tell them say hi and say Merry Christmas. Okay. Merry Christmas. Have a good day. Bye-bye. So there you have it, you guys. Special guest appearance from Liam and Naya. And now Santa knows what it is that they like for Christmas. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. As more information rolls out, I will keep you guys up to date here on the channel. And I hope this reaches you well and that you and your family have a blessed weekend. Take care. God bless. I'll catch you in the next video. This is Steve.